I'm always drawn in first by story and character. Hey, it's Kristen, and today we are chatting with Landon LeBrian and Julia Sarah Stone about their new film, Come True, which is debuting at Fantasia International Film Festival. Now, this is a film that really haunts the space between wakefulness and sleep, and it will leave you with more questions than answers. Let's take a look at our discussion. Your film, Come True, is really, really trippy, man. So can you tell me a little bit about the film and, and what made you want to be a part of it? Uh, Well, I... It was kind of immediately upon reading it, Anthony really understands film and he creates very, very specific worlds that like are true and, and personal to him. Um, and so as soon as I read it, there was, there was just this, I, I, I saw the film and, 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 and upon seeing the actual film, uh, it was the film that we signed up for, I think. And so, it was immediately right there on the page and I just wanted to be a part of that. And then I spoke to Anthony and, and um, the filming experience was gonna be a very unique experience as well. So it, it just all seemed very enticing and, and uh, I couldn't say no. I put myself on tape, audition for it. Um, and yeah, I I was so captivated by the script. I, I hadn't really read anything like it. Um, and I'm pretty sure that, um, I mean, I, I, I haven't seen anything like it. I'm, I'm pretty sure a lot of people haven't. Um, yeah, it was, it was just such an exciting concept and I had never really seen this genre done in this way. Um, yeah, and it, it appealed to me so much because it was so character driven and um, yeah, Sarah's Sarah's arc and her journey really really spoke to me. There's a lot of um, a lot of things going on, kind of psychologically. Um, mm -hmm. Is that like a, a genre that you're drawn to? Yeah, I I'm really I'm drawn to characters that have a really deep internal life. I think um, I guess yeah, just characters that that uh, that have a, a lot of layers of stuff going on. And Sarah definitely falls into that category. There's a lot of the, 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 the film has a lot of themes around the, the subconscious kind of, and um, that kind of perspective of psychology. And it, it, uh, it has some really cool symbolism, I think. And so a lot of the research that went into it was um, looking at those symbols and, and kind of mapping Sarah's journey throughout the, the film, both psychologically and in terms of the story arc. It was definitely so interesting and I feel like it ends in a place where you're just you're just not expecting it and I, mm -hmm. you're kind of like wait is this the end or is there is there more going on? Yeah. Um, so that that's always so much fun to kind of dive into. Do you have any like theories of of what you think is next for that character? Um what I think is next for her. I mean I don't want to. I don't want to give away what I think because I think it it should be so it should be so um, individual based on based on the viewer and who's watching it. And I think everybody should get the chance to kind of speculate on their own about what happens and and what 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 what's reality and what's not reality. And uh, that's that's the fun part of watching a movie. I think is that everybody sees it a little bit differently. So I have a little bit of like an insider's view of the story, but I'm also somebody who read the script and had my own kind of speculation about it. And that's that's part of what I enjoyed so much about reading the script. And I don't want to take away that enjoyment from other people. So. Yeah, I'll, I'll let people speculate. This is a very unique film. I don't think I've seen one like this. Um, it's it's so trippy. It really, you know, goes there. And um, do you think that we're seeing a rise in films that like this, like genre films, like very original films, thinking outside the box? There's this sort of strange disparity, it seems, between indie films and big films these days. Like that middle ground doesn't really... Uh, it's, it's harder to make those films. Um, and so it's really nice to see films like this getting made, especially out of Canada. And, and um, I think, yeah, I mean, I mean, I, I, I think these sort of films have always been there. Um, it'll be interesting to see uh, these kind of high concept films are, are becoming more popular. And I think it's a really, I mean, I really like it. I mean, I like stuff that, you know, plays with the mind and, and, you know, the, these sort of, you could call them genre films or horror films that are thrillers that are high concept, but also based in 
char characters and humans. And, and um, I also think that it's, uh, you know, like just an eye for film, you know, like there's there's a lot of cinema in in Come True that I think, like whether you're a genre person or not, I think you, you if you're a film person, you'll enjoy this film. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, I love that you mentioned Canada because uh, I, I feel like Canada is doing such great things in television and film. And, um, you know, uh, this is a Canadian film festival. Um, what, what is it like being a part of Fantasia? I know it's, you know, a little bit different, I'm sure, than you're used to with other film festivals since it's all virtual, but w what has the experience been like for you? Well, I, I mean, it's, I'm just very um, grateful to be a part of it. And, and um, yeah, it, I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing what this virtual film festival thing is going to do for the future and a uh, film and um, how, how it's going to change our viewing. Like, I, I, I love that more people will probably have access to it, to see it. Uh, which is exciting, um, and yeah, I'm I'm just really happy. I'm really happy for it to finally get out into the world, and I'm I'm happy that Fantasia is its first home. What was it like working with this cast? It was fantastic. We had we had such a a small cast and crew that it really ended up feeling like a family. Um, we all we got pretty close over the course of filming, and it was a long shoot as well. So there was a lot of time to um, to get to know each other and kind of. Um, yeah, kind of. Yeah, it, it was it was very um, it was very intimate in that kind of way, and uh, I feel like we all were very creative people and and very aligned in our vision of this project. Um, and I think that's part of what made the experience so special. And so, um, yeah, everybody everybody was so incredibly passionate about it, and uh, Landon was. An incredible scene partner, so generous and so present. Um, so we had a lot of fun, and yeah, Anthony. Th this is this is Anthony's passion project, and that came through so strongly in the way that he directs and the way that he speaks to his team. Um, so it was it was an incredible experience. Yeah. Not only are you acting, but you're also um, working on writing and directing as well, correct? Yeah. And you have a, a short film that's coming out this year? Well, hopefully. I mean, so I, I, I did my own short film uh, last year, which, um, you know, we submitted to festivals, but have, we haven't been getting a lot of response out of it, it which is fine. Um, but uh, then, uh, yeah, I, I, I just recently did a short film with um, one, one of my good friends that I've worked with, and, and uh, we're, we're currently finishing it and going to submit it to festivals. And so uh, it's it's sort of in the limbo phase right now, but... Yeah, I, I, uh, I mean, and also in this time, there's no better time to try and be productive than to write and try and make things. Absolutely. So, what, what is your vibe, I guess, as a, as a writer director? Uh, I, again, like I think I approach it the same way that I approach acting, in, in that you know, character and 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 like. Uh, but truth comes first, I guess. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I mean, it's it's. I, I definitely like creating worlds uh, that you know, uh, much like come true, or perhaps a heightened reality, or or. Um, uh, I, I really, really enjoy watching characters unravel slowly. Um, <laughs> so I, I, I don't want to say that a, a, a specific genre or anything like that, but I do like. A heightened reality, and, and it's fun to create those kind of worlds where there are these big characters um, that are kind of fun to watch. I wanted to ask if you have any other projects coming up. I, I believe I saw you have a, a couple this year, um, and if you could share kind of what you're working on in the, you know, in the yeah, movie. yeah, I have I've got a few things kind of in post production right now. Um, one of them, one of them coming up actually, that I'm doing some uh, ADR for soon is called Under the Weather. And it's a it's another independent film that was shot in Newfoundland. And uh, I'm I'm very excited for that one. I think um, that was that was also a really special shoot. Uh, I'm so in love with Newfoundland in general and all the people in it. Um, it was it felt like a very magical time being there. So I'm excited to see how that comes across on the screen. And uh, yeah, it's a very, 
it's a very touching story, I think. I'm excited for it. Just writing and, and you know, finishing this short film to hopefully share with the world someday. And and uh, and yeah, with well, I mean, with acting, it's it's auditioning is starting to finally kind of happen again. Um, okay. So it's it's nice that the industry is starting to kind of open up down here in the states. I know that it's already kind of starting up in Canada again. So it's it's um, hopefully you know this will the world will kind of start cleaning itself up so we can get back to work. Consider subscribing for more coverage from Fantasia Film Festival and check out more celebrity interviews right over here. See ya.